I am Leo Laporte, the tech guy, and as always, it's time of the day. He's here, our photo guy, Chris Marquardt, the host of the Tips from the Top Floor podcast. He teaches great workshops at discoverthetopfloor.com. Hey, Chris. Hello. How are you? I am great. Getting ready for a, a fun trip. Going to come back. To my many, backyard. When you, <laughs> to your backyard, ironically. When you uh, traveled, what is, how many shots a day do you average? Uh, depends uh, what I do. Could be 200, could be 500, somewhere in that range. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, I figure after a two or three week trip, I'll be coming back with thousands of pictures. <gasps> Oh boy. If I'm if I'm trying to take pictures pictures of people, I will usually have a few more because right. uh, that uh, you know people change their expressions quickly, yes. uh, really fast. So you, so you you end up you end up having like a little burst of three to four pictures, and then you pick the one that has the best expression. Good to know. So, you got a tip for us this week? Well, I, I want to talk about perception. You know. You, Okay, in, in photography, what is your goal as a photographer? You should be now thinking about this because you will do a lot of, a lot of photography in a short time when you, when you travel. Mm. What is it? What, what is it you want to bring? For me, it is telling stories. I was going to say, that's pretty much what I was going to say. I want, I want you, well, of course, I want you to look at a picture. I want to look at a picture and, and kind of go, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> but but often that's, the, that's one of the goals. That's absolutely. the goal, but often that's because this the picture has something going on. It's and that's right. part of the problems with for me with travel photography. I tend to take pictures of buildings. There's no story. You know the 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 ooh the wow that someone says when when they see a picture of you. You know what that that is? That's an expression of emotion. So what yes. you want is you actually want to evoke emotion in a picture. Okay, and that that. I mean that, that that depends perception, and that comes from perception. Perception depends on a lot of things, and especially it depends on what you have in your. I call it the backpack. You know, you have this whole thing of your experiences in life, and the where you live, your culture, you grew up in. Um, even your friends or your neighbors will see pictures with different eyes than you, and it just it just means that everyone kind of has that thing that makes them look at photography different. But there are a few things that are common to photography that, and that is that are the things that you can use as a photographer to kind of manage the attention that someone gives different parts uh, of your picture. I like that. You're, you're, you're an attention manager. Where right. does the attention of the recipient go? Where do they look? And even more, what do they think or what do they feel when viewing your photos? Mm, so okay. There, there is no, it, I mean, yes, everyone wants this simple, super simple recipe. There is no recipe. Um, but there are a few things that if, if, as soon as you know how perception works, you can actually achieve a lot of that. You can control where people look in your picture. And if you know the cultural background of the recipient, you'll be much better at taking the picture that will evoke some emotion in them. But here, here are, okay, here are three things that you can do. Three, I call them the three hierarchies. Um, if you want to make sure someone looks at a certain spot in a picture, there is the contrast hierarchy. Bright things are more in attractive than dark things. We're like probably. magpies. We go right to the bright thing. Yeah. We are moths. We <laughs> straight to the light. So high, same with high contrast and low contrast. A zebra stripes uh, will be more, uh, will get more attention than like a uniformly gray wall, for example. Ah, yes. So that's of course. the contrast hierarchy. Bright spots in a picture will always get attention. So if you have something that's important in the picture and you want the viewer to look at, a bright spot is a good idea to have somewhere in that area, or maybe the subject itself is a bright thing in front of something dark. So that's mm. the first hierarchy, All the right. contrast hierarchy. Okay, I'm making notes. Second hierarchy is the color hierarchy, mm. because warm colors will always trump cool colors. If you have a red spot in, 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 in the midst of a sea of green, that red spot will get all the attention. That's the right spot. Exactly. I'm wearing a red nose. That works. Look, look where I'm looking right now. Guess where I'm looking. I'm not looking at the green wall behind you. I'm looking at the red nose. There you go. <laughs> and that does, that's also the reason traffic lights are red or the important color on the traffic light yeah, is red. Yeah, yeah, um, That, the, 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 I don't know, construction sites have red bars. And there's all, the colors... Warm colors trump cool colors. So okay. that's another way to direct the attention in a picture. And then the third hierarchy, I call the, well, I don't really have a term, the thing hierarchy, whatever the things that are in the picture. What we do when we look at a picture is we match patterns. We look at things and we try to find out what's in the picture by matching it with things that we already know. And some of those things are really high on the list. For example, eyes. Mm. You look into someone's eyes when you see a person on a picture, the eyes are central in the picture. Second is 
just the human shape in general. That's something we can really relate to. So again, that's a very strong pattern match for us. So if we have a person in the picture, that's why pictures of people work really well because we have something that we can relate to. Mm. It's also harder to take them because pe people usually tend to not like their picture being taken. So there's where <laughs> there's one of the issues lies, you know, you have to work hard to get those pictures, but then they will be so much better with, with people in them. And then, in general, living beings in pictures are, are great to have. Um, they will usually trump non-living beings, just architecture, just landscape. So Yeah, I like to take ar architecture and landscape, but it rarely grabs me in the way that people pictures do. Or pe You know, although I've had some great results, say, taking pictures of a long column if there's a person at the end of uh, you know like a long hall if there's a person at the end of the hall so much more uh dramatic oh, it than if it's just an empty all of a sudden hall. it pops yeah yeah so so here you have an i have an assignment for you now that you are uh -oh. um, on your way okay. to germany yes i want you to bring home three pictures of strangers <laughs> okay german this is a strangers. challenge three this pictures of german strangers <laughs> yes. i'm gonna meet some austrians and some uh, hungarians too Oh, that counts too. Okay. <laughs> and maybe <laughs> one or two people from Holland. Uh, we're, we're not there very long, but some strangers, some, 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 some people from the countries I'm visiting. Yes, exactly. You do such a good job. We, we talked last week about uh, tfttf slash EF because those pictures, oh, unbelievable. tfttf.com slash EF. And yeah, you got the pictures of the tea fields and you got, but boy, the pictures of the people every time, they get me every time. Yeah, you're still selling the it's, it's, uh, the uh, benefit for Nepal. The pictures you have from Nepal. We're doing still doing this tfttf.com slash fundraiser. Which um, actually, I wasn't I wasn't uh, Kathmandu on the way back. How do, uh, oh from, how is it? That tour. Yeah, it is it is by far not as destroyed as oh, uh, the, the the mass media would like you to believe. I mean, that's what they do. You know, they sure. exaggerate the bad, and they don't really talk about the good. And the problem is that tourists now stay away. So. It's really important for the tourists to go back there. Everything is okay. You won't be confronted with horrible things. Rather the opposite. People are really nice. They want to help you and they want to, they, they, they need the tourism and the, everything is okay. Supplies are good. Hotels are fine. Um, not everything is broken. It's not a big rubble field. So go to, go to Nepal, go to Kathmandu. Um, people will welcome you with open arms. Kathmandu invites you. Yes. You know who else invites you? Our uh, assignment. Every month, Chris gives us an assignment. He gives us a word to illustrate, take a photo of. Uh, you can find that assignment every time. All you have to do is go to Flickr. Now, that's where we kind of put the pictures, and so Chris can view them and pick some. Uh, Flickr.com. It's free to join. It's a Yahoo uh, site. They Actually, it's a great deal. They give you a terabyte of, of storage. There's a lot of photographers there. It's easy to get comments and suggestions for your photography. If you do uh, go to Flickr.com, go to the Tech Guy group, and you'll know it because it's huge. Thousands of pictures, tens of thousands of members. There's a shining picture of my face on that. Join the Tech Guy group. Again, that's free to do. And then uh, Renee Silverman has posted the current assignment there, and you can see what the word of the week or the word of the month is. And uh, I'll, I'll be trying some pictures for the assignment as well and see if I can get into the next review. <laughs> I've been bad. I haven't, you know, one of the reasons I, I need vacation and I need to travel is so I'll break out the camera, blow off the dust and start taking some pictures. I feel like I see what I see every day. I'm just not interested in taking pictures of it. That's probably yeah, my Pictures fault. from another part of the world will, will probably look at those pictures and be it refreshes amazed you. by what you do there. Yeah, yeah. it refreshes you. Maybe next week you can tell me some suggestions for people who don't, you know, leave their rut to go back and forth as most of us do most of the time. How to see that with new eyes and use photography? You to know, kind of bring you know, when alive. you return, we'll we'll analyze a few of your pictures here uh -oh. on the show. Uh -oh. We'll look at some of your oh, photography from that the trip. The challenge is um, on. <laughs> just a bit of pressure here. ChrisMarkWark.com, DiscoverTheTopFloor.com, Leo Laporte, the Tech Guy. More to come right after this.